CataractCoach.com Capsule Rexus Enlargement. So the double rexus technique for an intumescent white cataract. Our guest surgeon here is Dr. Amanpreet Singh from India. So there's the intumescent cataract, tripan blue dyes going in. We're speeding up the video, of course, so we can show you the whole thing in a timely manner. There's our viscoelastic. Now, just two pairs and TC incisions now. Highly pressurized AC. Get the AC pressure higher than the intralenticular pressure. Poke in through the side port and try to decompress that nucleus. So that was what's being done there. Now, quickly, an initial small baby rexus, because that won't radialize out. If you complete it, there it is. And now let's really decompress the bag. IA, bimanual IA, going in there with the aspirator to really decompress and aspirate lens material so that you don't have a highly pressurized bag now. Now it's much easier. There's no pressure in the bag. So now the van S scissors can be used to nick the capsule there. And now your capsule rexus forces can be used to make your desired rexus of about five millimeters. So this is the double rexus technique. And this was very nicely done. And it's very easy to enlarge this rexus. Much easier now that the capsule bag is not pressurized. So now the nucleus removal is going to be straightforward. This is going to be a phaco chop technique. There's holding the nucleus with a phaco probe. And then, oh, vertical chop. Very nice. I like it. I would have placed the phaco probe more sub-incisionally so it ended up more towards the center of the nucleus instead of here towards one end of it. So I'd like to operate a little bit more in the center of the nucleus. But beautiful job. Look at these multiple chops to break up the cataract into many small pieces. And once these pieces are broken up, now they can all be aspirated very easily. So just knowing that the trick to this case is doing the double rexus technique or decompressing the capsule bag, that's the trick. After that's done, you have a nice intact rexus. The rest of the case, as you can see, will proceed very easily. So very nice technique here. It's something you definitely have to do. Remember, when you have a patient with a white cataract like this, this is the closest thing we have to an absolute miracle in ophthalmology. You can take this patient from a pre-op vision of maybe hand motion, probably light perception vision, to sharp 20-20 vision or 6-6 vision overnight in, in a 5 or 10 minute surgery. That's an absolute miracle. It's one of the most amazing things we do in medicine, head to toe. We are so blessed to be ophthalmologists and to be able to do this surgery for patients. It is truly a blessing. So now doing in some uh, bimanual cortex removal, that bimanual INA is a very nice technique. Really allows you to have full 360 access to the capsule bag, clean that stuff up very nicely. And so a little tiny bit left here, just going in over the infusion, just to kind of wash things out. And that looks great. So let's look at the incisions too. Look at that main incision. I like it. That's a very nicely done incision. Look at the tunnel length. Look at the side stroma walls. You can see the tunnel length. That's a nice incision. So again, time for a lens implantation. Let's see what we do here. There's viscoelastic going inside the eye. And wow, look at that pretty, pretty, pretty result here. Here comes the lens being injected. Let's see what we got here. And it's coming out, looks like a single piece acrylic lens. And there you go. And going in the capsule bag very nicely. So the capsule enlargement can be done. We've shown this in our cataract coach many times. You can do it like this with a double rexus technique. We can also enlarge the rexus again at the end of the case. I have another video where I've shown in Cataract Coach, and I'm sure you'll find it if you go to the website instead of just YouTube. You'll find that we did an enlargement after the eye well was implanted, and that's easy enough to do as well. You can make whatever rexus you want, and after the eye well's in the bag, now you can slightly enlarge the rexus to custom tailor it to exactly the lens centration and that lens diameter that you want. End of the case here, hydrating up the incisions, looking pretty good. To avoid excessive hydration, you don't want to do a huge amount of hydration. Because number one, hydration is temporary. It's not going to make up for a bad incision. And number two, it may distort the cornea and induce astigmatism. And that may give less than a beautiful vision on post-op day one. Remember, the true miracle here is going from light perception vision pre-op to post-op day one, 2020. That is something that I'm thankful for every time we deliver it. And I know you love it too.